Hello and welcome to the video. Very quick look at a new product from Hobby King. This is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. An upgraded pan tilt servo stuff for an FPV camera. Now this one's branded Quantum and those of you may remember they've had a previous version that they've had for donkey's years which is based on fiberglass and was a pain in the butt to put together. Now I've noticed this one on the website so I've ordered one with my latest lot of batteries and it's arrived today so I thought I'd just show you how it's gone together. A quick run through the specs. This is a little bit more expensive than the other one, but the other one didn't come with any servos or any kind of hardware at all, really. You had to do all that hard work yourself. And the other one was quite a bulky piece. It was made back in the days when things like Sony board cameras were the things that we were using for FPV. And the hobby has moved on an awful lot. So this is about £23, but it comes with the two servos, all the plastics, the screws and everything you need in order to mount this into your model. So if I just take all the pieces out the bag, this is how it actually arrives. So we have a couple of servos, we have the plastics. Uh, the bottom servo is actually metal geared. That's the one we're gonna use for the pan function. And we're gonna need just one of the controls horns in here. Great to see a metal geared servo. And the other one for the tilt function is a cheap and cheerful little plastic geared servo but that'll be fine because it's not supporting all the different weight the plastics we have the bottom piece that will support the metal geared servo we have the piece that holds the camera and we have the cradle that goes between the two that connects everything together now i've been trying to make something like this and design it and in 3d printable but it's proven really tricky so i'm really pleased to see that quantum have actually come out with something like this that isn't too expensive that you can kind of put together and is pretty reasonable quality. So let me just show you how this comes together because all the screws that you are going to need actually come as part of the kit. So you don't have to buy anything else apart from obviously have your camera to pop at the front. So the first step to put it together is to pop the metal geared servo into the bottom piece. Um, I like the way that that is built so that it can either be seated on top of foam or actually inside foam as well. And then once we've got that in place, we just need to pop the control servo arm at the perfect size that goes in here at the bottom of this little cradle and you're going to pop that in place with one of the little screws and if you just lay the screws out like i have done in this diagram you'll make everything fit fine so just hold the servo arm in place with one of the supplied screws just the one because of the way it uh, goes together that will do the job perfectly the plastics on this do feel very nice and resilient so i'm hoping that these will survive crashes a lot better than the previous versions then i will screw in the metal geared servo using the servo screws actually come as part of the servo kit itself just pop that in the top here again wouldn't necessarily need to use this bottom piece if you're going to mount it into the foam of a canopy uh, it's a much smaller footprint this than the previous one if you imagine that the top of this servo is going to be flush with the foam it's uh, it's quite a neat way of doing it and the same place that i would normally only be able to fit a pan mechanism and check out my videos where I've set those kind of things up and the open TX videos where I've also show how you do that and even set up things like fat shark head trackers uh, but this is a relatively easy build this is the easy part of setting up pan and tilt FPV center the servo before you do that to make sure that everything's lining up and then just use the screw that comes as part of the servo kit in the servo bag just to hold that control arm in place and that is the pan part all put together. Now that's gonna leave you with a couple of additional bits of plastic. This is the piece that's going to hold the camera. Now there are a couple of ways that you can mount the camera on here. One is directly using the two holes in the corners for a kind of a traditional size run cam swift or something like that or if you're going to use a smaller camera then the other two screws are actually there for kind of the u-shaped metal bracket that you get in those camera kits you can put that onto here and then put the camera in the middle so the next job is to install the plastic geared servo uh, i would actually attach the camera to the camera supporting plastics first before you go too far Again, the setup's very similar. Use the other little screw from the kit to hold the control harm into place. 
And then once you've done that, just center the servo again, just to make sure that uh, you're as close as you possibly can to the middle position. And then once you've got that sorted, then push it into the splines at the side and do up the retaining screw. Again, it's the same screw that came in the kit. You want the servo to be as vertical as you possibly can, although you can change that with sub trim in the radio or your pan and tilt setup later on. Last job then is to install the piece that would have the camera installed. Now I would normally have install the camera onto this piece first before you pop it into place. And what's gonna happen is it's going to go around here and it then forms the other side of the axle and you just screw the servo using the screws that actually come with the servo in the servo bag itself. You just screw it into place and the servo mount is done. And when it's all together, it actually works really nicely. There is just enough room at the front for you to mount the camera and route the cable around. You probably can't use one of those old thick shielded fat chart cables, but modern little FPV cables will work absolutely fine. Just be careful with how you're routing all the wires. I'm pretty impressed with this so far, so now I'm going to look for a model to pop it into. I like the fact that everything you need comes in the kit, so you don't have to try and buy servos and hope that the control arms are going to fit or the splines are going to match up. Everything comes in the kit and you can just put it together. The quality of the plastics feels really good and it's quite easy to assemble once you've done one like this. And I think it's going to be rather like falling off a log. There is very smooth movement of the servos. And again, you don't need to have the overall height. I'll just show the uh, dimensions here while I'm just talking about this. You don't need the overall height if you wanted to sync the pan servo in the foam. It's going to be pretty compact and it's just going to be slightly more than the size of the standard FPV camera in that case anyway. A couple of things to be aware of. It is a plastic servo for the tilt mechanism. I don't think that's a particularly big problem, but just be aware of that. Uh, it needs to be metal at the bottom just to support the weight of all of the other mechanism. So that's a nice touch. You will need to fit the camera, as I've mentioned before, final assembly. You can't get to the screws once that plastic piece is in place. So do that before you put it all together. I think that's a bit of a shame that those aren't accessible, but I guess that's the price we're paying for the servos we're using here. It is only suitable for vertical mounting, so I'm looking for a gimbal that would work stuck out the nose of a plane, uh, and this one unfortunately won't do it just the way that the design is set up. So this is really for that kind of situation where you're gonna replace a model of a pilot sat in the canopy with one of this, or pop it on top of the nose of an FPV model. And don't forget, it will support other size cameras than traditional full-size cameras, but to do that, you're gonna to have to use the metal U-bracket that you got in the kit that comes with the camera itself and screw that using the supplied screws into those middle two holes of the plastic camera retaining piece. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that have seen this on the Hobby King website. I'm very pleased we've got something like this that's a pretty decent quality piece here that we can use for pan and tilt. I'm going to be doing more with FPV pan and tilt in the coming months. So this is going to definitely get some use in a future video. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.